Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your end of March love reading. I have to warn you, <laughs> this is the third time, and it is Mercury retrograde, okay? So, um, this is for the end of March, beginning of April, but it appears that there's a lot of um, old feelings, hurts, energies coming back up from your last relationship, okay, that didn't work out, or whatever. Whether you're in a relationship now or not, there's a lot of past coming back for sure. There's no doubt about it, okay? Whether this past actually shows up in your life or it's just memories, okay? Thoughts. Um, it's, it's coming back, okay? And it is absolutely going to affect you, okay? This is my third time. I've done like 20 minutes each one, over 20 minutes, and they were pretty much the same, okay? The Mercury retrograde is going to have an effect on you, and um, the past, you know, criticism that you were through went through with another person is coming back, whether that was your, that's mental or the person actually comes back in your life, okay? It's going to affect you. We're going to take one of these, and then we will break right into the deck, and I have prayed that this will change, but i uh, not going to guarantee anything. Um, it appears that you have a new opportunity in love, okay? A new person has stirred your romantic feelings, uh, seriously, and but the past isn't quite closed yet. Of course, it is Mercury retrograde, and that's what it does, okay? So it feels like you may feel unworthy, lack of self-confidence, lack of self-worth, you know, because of the past betrayal and hurt and criticism that you received from this last relationship. All those feelings and hurts are going to come back up to the surface, okay? So it's going to affect your decision in moving forward with this new person because you feel as though you aren't good enough. Okay, so that's what I came up with. I did see that we did have the lover's card, which was a choice, and it's a choice between the past or the future. All right, be prepared to live with the consequences of your choice. This is a test. I mean, with Mercury retrograde, seriously, um, I would wait until the energy passes before you make a choice, but with this new... Uh, love interests that may have entered your life for those of you that have done your healing work and are ready you know I wouldn't say to put them off completely but don't bring the past with you okay so we have a nine of cups right off the bat reversed okay so there's a lack of wish fulfillment here there's a lack of happiness and this happiness is because I mean, the lack of happiness is, is because of your emotions, okay? Your emotions are going to get the best of you. You know, and you are absolutely being tested. This is absolutely a test, okay? A test of your strength, a test of your willpower, and a test of what you really want out of a partner, okay? Be patient, be patient. You know, You know what you want, okay? You know what you want. You've been waiting. You've been waiting for your ships to come in. You know, I feel like you do have this new uh, exciting opportunity that I was just telling you about. You have an exciting new di discovery, you know, and it's, it's very challenging, you know, and you are being called to act on your hunches and, you know, Accept this challenge. Accept this dare. Okay, so I feel like this is very daring to you. It's like it's a big dare. Do I dare to? Do I dare to accept this new offer? You know? Um, or do I give somebody else a second chance? You know, it feels as though ugh, the truth is here. Okay, the truth is here, and now you just have to accept the truth of a situation. I feel like there's been some sort of, you know, release. I think that you've been so, 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 so close to releasing the past, and, and you're right about there. You have, you even thought you have released the past, but then Mercury retrograde comes in and makes you reconsider the past, and I think that's what's happening here. You are being tested again. And I feel like you are going to be called to really, really use your inner strength to move forward and not let this past hold you back, okay? Remember the truth of the situation, 
okay? Remember what really happened. Do not do not forget the truth of the situation as to whatever happened in the past that has that has left you feeling criticized and betrayed. Now, I'm, I'm going off of my other two readings as well. So, yeah, I feel like you, you know, do you, you have your guard up. You have your, you have your defenses up in regards to this new opportunity, this, this new discovery, okay? I feel like you may have received some sort of invitation or exciting um, invite opportunity to get to know someone, but you ha have this fear. You have this fear, and this fear stems from a relationship, okay? There's like... The inability to offer love at this time, probably during the end of this week, the inability to partner yourself with anybody else because of these fears. There's a lack of faith in a, re in a partnership at this time. But there's a lot of temptation, eh? Yes, there is. There's a lot of temptation with a Capricorn, perhaps. <laughs> I think that you have an exciting new opportunity open up, opening up in front of you that is very, very tempting. I think there's a strong sexual magnetic uh, attraction here. And you have these fears. And like I said in the other ones, you fear, like you're not, you fear that you're not good enough. You fear that you're not worthy. And it stems from this past relationship, these past emotions, these past hurts that are cropping back up to the surface because of Mercury retrograde. You know, and you're just feeling like you can't, you can't move forward. You don't have the energy. And you're not being very practical in this situation. You're being called to expand your horizons, but your, the the energies from the retrograde are not helping you. <laughs> you know, you've this is already ended. It's already completed. Why are you staying there? It's time for your new chapter, Taurus. It's time for you to step over the finish line and start this new phase of your life. Because the past, the one that has given up on you and left you out in the cold, as I saw in the other reading, didn't bring you happiness. Do not forget the truth that that other person brought to you. Because that person could show up this person could send you a message. This person could be affecting you mentally because there's a lot of mental conflict here. You, This cycle has already been completed. Do not start it over again. Okay? It's over. It's over. Don't go back. Don't go back to that betrayal, those lies, that deceit. There's a lot of illusion here. You guys are very confused about the forward path. You do have a new opportunity. I think there's a new opportunity for a new partner here. But you're letting this confusion, because of the Mercury retrograde, mess with your confidence, your self-worth, your self-esteem, your self-respect. You wish fulfillment. You are being tested. There's no doubt about it. You need to remove these obstacles. You need to step outside of your comfort zone. Yes, the past is comfortable because that's what you know. But the truth with the judgment card of the matter is it didn't work out, right? It didn't work out. And you've done a lot of healing work. I Somebody could be presenting themselves to you from the past that is a complete player, a faker. You've done a lot of work. It's time for you to 
focus on the new prospects and I think that's what you really, really want to do. Okay? I think that your faith it has been restored and now Mercury retrograde is coming in to give you the ultimate test. Are you ready? Are you ready to go down this new path? Are you ready for this new journey? Are you ready for this new partner? I feel like you're very, very mentally restless. There's a lot, this is a huge challenge, isn't it? And you are being called to be honest with yourself, accept the truth of the situation. The past didn't work out. It's time, these are a lot of the same cards that were in the, I gotta shuffle again. A lot of the same cards. The past didn't work out and you've worked so, so, so hard on you, on yourself. You have. You have. It's time to focus your energy in a new direction. Okay? It is. It's over. The past is over. It's done. It's time to completely give up on the past. Don't even consider it. Okay? Because there will be no communication. There's no forward movement there. Okay? There's no momentum in the past. Okay? It's over. That relationship is done. It's done. And this is a reminder for you. It is. This is a reminder that many of you obviously needed to hear because this is the third reading. Okay? Don't let the past come back in and undo all the work that you have done. You have worked very, very hard at accepting this truth and being honest with yourself and removing obstacles and healing. And now you are being absolutely tempted again. And this person, person could be, and I think you're being tempted in two different ways. I think you're being tempted by the past because this is the out, outcome. And you're being tempted by someone new. In both the other readings, that's what it was as well. There is an opportunity for you to move forward with someone else. There's also, you know, the past that is creeping up to haunt you. And you have worked so, so, so hard. This is an X. Okay? There's an X that is holding you back, and it doesn't matter what sign it is, that is holding you back from moving forward. And, you, and now they've got you thinking, what do I want to do? Am I ready? It's time to sever those ties once and for all. Now is the time to sever those ties. This person left you out in the cold. This is virtually the same fucking reading. Excuse my, re my language. I'm telling you what, this person left you out in the cold before. Don't forget it. Don't forget it. If somebody needs to hear this message. You know, they're going to come in and, and totally say that they are invested in you. They've learned. But the fact of the matter is, You have invested in you. Not them. They left you out in the cold. They stabbed you in the back. They broke your heart. It's time to let go of this sorrow. There you are. Taurus. Believe in yourself. Have faith in the future. Follow your own path and listen to your inner guide. Listen to your inner guide. You know what I'm saying is true, don't you? Whether this person comes back 
physically or in your mind. It's a complete test. Someone from your past is affecting your future. <laughs> Remember the truth of this situation. Right now it's Mercury retrograde. This is what happens. I wasn't going to use these cards, but and I haven't used them yet. So we're going to see what comes up. This just boggles my mind. It really does. But I'm going to play it, this one, because it's the third one that's been the same. Somebody from your past is coming back. And they may just be coming back mentally to affect your future. I feel like there is a new, there's a temptation here. And, you know, you're being called to pass this test with flying colors and not go back Accept the truth. Remember the truth. Remember what happened. Son of a gun. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. This person doesn't want to be alone. And you don't want to be alone either. Consider this. You have come so, so, so far. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. There is commitment here, but I think it's with someone new. I think you have an exciting new opportunity, and I saw it in the other ones as well. Okay? But you have to pass this test. You have to give up on this thing that never worked out. So that you can find the new love. So that you can be with the new love. So that you can accept the new love. So that you can go down the new exciting path. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Future. Future. Not past. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith and trust in the future. Okay? Don't let the past hinder your new beginning. I really feel like there's somebody else. I really do. I feel like there's a new person for you that has stirred your romantic feelings and the past is here to test you. Will you pass the test? This new person leads to a commitment. In the future, if you can be patient, patience is needed here. You're looking for a solid commitment, right? You don't want somebody who's going to play games with you and isn't ready. Somebody just wants somebody to be with. Study. Spirit has its own special way of letting you know that it's time to study again. From time to time, it's important to go back and learn, whether that's learning old things in a new way or learning something totally new. This is an opportunity to expand your mind. And I don't know if I said it in this reading or one of the other ones. But starting over again, there is an element of, of starting over again. You know, yeah, you know the past. But it's time to, to, to know somebody new. It's time to get to know somebody new. That's what this card means to me. I feel like there is a new commitment in front of you. If you believe in yourself and you continue to have faith in the future. And don't look back. Please, 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 please don't look back.
I just, I just I feel very strongly about this. This is the third reading. That you are being tempted by the past. And you are being tempted by someone new. And I suggest you head towards the new. Talk to you later.